Hey, do me a huge favor before you start this episode and please rate and review this show. By doing this simple task, it helps me rank higher on the podcast charts and helps me reach more entrepreneurs who are looking for free content like this. It will take you less than 30 seconds of your time. Thank you in advance, and I hope you enjoy today's episode. Welcome, everybody, to the Table Rush Talk Show. This is a five-part interview with Damon Burton. Uh, Damon Burton is an SEO master. Uh, the best thing about this five-part interview is whether you're interested in SEO or not, he drops so many bombs that will literally transform your business. If you are trying to have an online presence, if you're trying to grow your business through uh, uh, social media platforms, adding value with content, uh, uh, Damon Burton's the master. Welcome everybody to the podcast. I've got with me Damon Burton, the amazing Damon Burton, and perhaps the most handsome SEO authority <laughs> that I know. <laughs> well, I've I've had the compliments on my my beard, but um, not not my overall looks. But keep talking, I'll take it. <laughs> right there, we go. Well, you're always you're always very stylish when. Um, whenever we meet in person, right? Whatever event we happen to meet at. Oh, um, thank you. Yeah. Yes. I think the first one was Mexico, right? Correct. Correct. Yeah. Yes. Mastermind in paradise, Russell Brunson's uh, yeah. mastermind in paradise. Yeah. And I believe you might've just joined um, Russell's inner circle. That might've been your first sort of interaction through, through um, that, the, um, that the mastermind was in March and I had joined in September. So I'd been in it for however many, five months or whatever that is. Yeah. Um, I was going to give you a better introduction, but we'll still get to that. But while it's on the top of my mind, um, it was really cool because, well, one thing about you is that you're always leading with value and service, like always. And it's really awesome. And I really appreciate that and love that about you. Um, Thank you. Yeah. Uh, but right away, you got to um, give a presentation about your SEO skill set, right? They like Russell had you given a presentation and then he shared mm. it across all channels, right? About your skills. Am I remembering oh, on, that correctly? On Inner Circle. Well, it wasn't yeah. it wasn't Russell directly, but it was through Inner Circle. So um through Inner Circle for the listeners that might not be familiar with Inner Circle. So Russell Brunson runs ClickFunnels. Um he has his own little private mastermind. Um and uh, in that group, part of it is, um, you know, it's a real value added. But there's so many things we could talk about, um, like how I got in Inner Circle and how that turns into a story. Um, you know, even let's let's just start with the price filter, right? On on Inner Circle. So like you as what you the listener, whatever product or service you offer, um, pricing matters. And so we all know, we've all heard, raise your prices, raise your prices. But what was really interesting about joining Inner Circle, um, I'll give you the abbreviated story to get to the point about pricing. Um, I've run an SEO agency for 15 years, never spent a dollar on ads. And so I've been thinking, okay, if I've accomplished this much without ads, what if I layered lead generation on it? I don't even do any lead generation, which is ironic for running a marketing company. So the way that I get leads is like you said, like value first and build up this reputation. So I come into Funnel Hacking Live, which is Russell and ClickFunnels annual event. And I had a good friend of mine who was kind of deep in Russell's world. And I, I tagged along with him at Funnel Hacking FHL. And he could go every, I would, I could go everywhere he could, except for this invisible line. Like there was this like early access area that he could go and I couldn't. And the first couple of times I'm like, whatever, it's not that big of a deal. Like I didn't want the bagel. I didn't want, you know, that stuff. I just <laughs> wanted to hang out with my friends. And so he kept going back there enough over the course of a couple of days that, that it, it made me mad. And so I went up to the little security person. I said, Hey, I don't want anything for free. Like I'm willing to pay. Can, can I upgrade my wristband or something and get back there? And in my mind, I'm thinking I'm willing to pay $1,000 for a blue wristband instead of red. Like that's all it is. And so they're, they're like, Oh, I don't know. I think so. Go talk to, go talk to the check-in counter. And I go talk to the check-in counter and, and they said the opposite. They're like, no, you can't do that. That's only for people that are in coaching or are award winners. And I said, all right, what's the coaching? And they said, Oh, I don't, I didn't expect anybody to ask. Let's call Robbie. And I'm like, who the hell is Robbie? 
And so for those of you that aren't in this world, Robbie is kind of like the gatekeeper to the ascension in, in ClickFunnels Inner Circle, like getting up to the higher level masterminds. And he comes around and he and I tell him what's going on. I said, my friend's back there. I just want to hang out with my friends. That's it. Can I pay? And he says the same thing. And he says, no, you can't pay to get back there. It's for coaching clients or award winners. He asked me the same thing. Are you interested in coaching? And I said, not really. And he says, what about a mastermind? And I said, maybe. And he goes, all right, here's the deal. You know, you have to accomplish this much. You have to do at least a million in sales annually. You have to do this and this and this. And it's $50,000. And I'm like, what the hell? How did I just go from $1,000 to $50,000? <laughs> but then then I got thinking, it, and it, that's why I was there, was to force myself into that world. And I thought, well, that's that. maybe this is the opportunity why I'm here. Maybe this is the thing that I'm looking for to force myself and accelerate that path. So I told them, let's do it. So I went from nothing to $50,000 within like a 90 second conversation. <laughs> Now the, there was more to it. Like I had to verify income and it, my friend walked by and he had to vouch for me and things like that. But coming back to the the topic about pricing and why it's valuable to raise your prices, why it's valuable to pay for access. Uh, what I realized is uh, what I've since learned is how much of a great quality filter $50,000 is because the only people that are willing to pay $50,000 for something are a somebody that's found success and has that money available to invest it in something like that and b somebody that's serious mm -hmm. because they may have one or the other but unless you have both mm -hmm. it's not the same caliber of person so then we get into inner circle and um you mentioned the value and this and that and um the, the way that the people lead in that group is very different than other groups. So when you first get into business, you go to these local networking groups and they have their place and things like that. But I avoided them for a long time because it wasn't the caliber of people that I needed in my life. And being able to come into a group like this, where just everybody gives and everybody gives and everybody's appreciative, it's been really cool. So what had happened is, um, you know, largely the people in this group are paid ads first and I'm the organic guy. And so I thought, well, I don't want to vomit a bunch of search engine marketing on them. So how do I take something I know and translate it to be applicable in their paid ad world? And so I ended up talking about page speed and user experience, how you can take these strategies from SEO about improving how mobile friendly your website is and how quickly it loads and how, uh, how user friendly it is and how if you apply that to your paid ads and your funnels, it will lower your cost per click, which will lower your cost per lead. And we had two people that implemented it. Um, right after I presented it. And one of them dropped their cost per lead from $8 down to $4. And all they, it took them 20 minutes to, to improve their page speed was all it was. They'd spent tens of thousands of dollars on changing their copywriting, changing their call to action, changing their value proposition, changing the design, changing the colors. None of it worked, but 20 minutes on improving the page speed did. And we had another lady that dropped her cost per lead from, I can't remember exactly. I think it was like 27 bucks down to 12 bucks. Um, and then we just got to, we were just together with Inner Circle last week. I shared the same story and it started like this mini movement. So now every time I have an opportunity, um, you know, Inner Circle kind of re-upped this year. And so there's new people in there. And so I shared the same thing with them. And it's really cool to see that people just actually just right before we hit record, I had people messaging me and saying, hey, can you walk that through through with me? How I can apply that specifically to my page. So back to your comment, um, that's how it got out there was I was like, hey, um, here's some value for you. It had a big impact. Other people shared it. And then it just kind of um, caught on and on and on. And, and that's how it kind of filtered out through the community. Yeah, that, that's amazing. And so th was there two bits to improving the, the page speed or did you, 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 did I, did I? Two, two strategies. Yeah. The yeah. two strategies are, um, I'll, I'll try and explain this um, verbally uh, since I can't communicate it on screen. So basically it's images and videos are the two easiest things on um, to improving the page load on funnels and, and pages in general. So with images, the, there's two subsections to that. So one is make sure your image is the actual display size. So what I mean by that is a lot of time we'll go to upload, let's say a logo or in your case, a, a picture next to a testimonial. And so we, we embed it on the website and it's on the screen, it's two inches by two inches. It's a couple hundred pixels by a couple hundred pixels. But what we did is we uploaded the full size file. 
which is really 2000 pixels by 2000 pixels. So you have a, a 2000 pixel wide image that's displaying at 200 pixels. So it is literally 10 times larger than it needs to be. So even though you see it smaller, your customer, their devices, Google, Facebook, the browsers, their phones have to load that 2000 pixel wide image only to display it at 200. So instead what you do is just edit it in Photoshop. If you don't have Photoshop, there's a free website called Photopea, P-E-A.com. Just drop it in there, hit image resize, put it to 200 by 200. Your website, your page, your funnel literally looks exactly the same. It is just now 90% lighter on that image. So images is one thing. The second part of the images is called compression. Um, your photos can have hidden data. So if it's a testimonial picture, it could have the data it was taken, the camera aperture speed, the latitude and longitude of the location. So even though you don't see that on the image, it's embedded in the file. And so that adds to the weight of the file. So if you run it through, if you're on a Mac, I use a plugin called an app called Image Optim, O-P-T-I-M. If you're on Windows, there's a, a, an app called Casium, C-A-E-S-I-U-M. Just drop your photos in there before you upload them. Now, now this is different than resizing. So you need to resize it first, then compress it, and then it's going to strip off that hidden data. So now you've maximized how light your files can be, your images. So that's images. Now, the second thing is videos. With videos, um, they're a heavier asset, right? They're a, they're a multimedia file. So they're, they're, they have a bigger delay to them. And so if you're doing organic marketing, your web page will be rewarded and shown higher on search engines if you have a better user experience. So, so there's other components to that, but one of them just for this conversation is how easy is your website to use? Make Google look good. If Google is going to refer somebody to your website, they want it to be a good experience. If your website's slow, Google's less likely to send a visitor to that because then that makes Google look bad. Now, even if you're running paid ads, Google ads and Facebook ads, same thing. They want to look good. So if, you set, if you're running paid ads and you send a visitor to your website and it loads slowly, that, that lead is probably going to exit. They have a higher probability of not buying your thing. And if they don't buy your thing, you're not going to go back and invest that money back in Facebook. So Facebook's going to grab as much money from you as they can if you have a poor user experience website. But if your website loads quickly, the person's more likely to buy your thing which means you're probably going to go back to Facebook and give them more money. So they will incentivize you to have a better user experience. So this is why we want to improve our page load. So on the video, the trick with video is if you use Vimeo, YouTube, whatever it is, that's a third party. So your website is dependent on that third party. As your website loads, it gets bottlenecked when it hits that third party video. So what you can do is there's a feature called Lightbox. So if you're using ClickFunnels or WordPress, um, if you're in ClickFunnels, you use the module that's called Video Pop-Up. And so what you do is you take a screenshot of your video. So it looks like the video, but really it's just a fixed image. And then in your Video Pop-Up module, you have two fields. One is the field to put your image. Two is the field to put your actual video URL. So what it does is it displays the video as if it were a video, but really it's an image. So it's not loading that slow code. But then when they click it, then it triggers the video. So they don't have the delay only until and if they push the video. Because that's another thing to think about. What about the people that don't look at your videos? You're still punishing them with that page speed, whether they look <laughs> at it or not. So why not only execute the video if they push play? So if you're on WordPress, there's a plugin called WP Video Lightbox. If you're on something else, just search Google for Video Lightbox and you'll find a solution for it. That's amazing. And I, listeners, are you getting this? Like you um, uh, apply 20 minutes of time. And if you're running paid ads, you can literally reduce your cost in half or more or less somewhere in there, but you can save a lot of money, be more efficient. All of a sudden you... I mean, gosh, now you're past break even or now you're hitting break even so you can scale either way. It's or, awesome. or, you're double, or you're double the profit on the same amount of investment. Yeah, so good. You, if I remember correctly too, uh, you had mentioned some of these plugins and things, but I think you, had, I, I, I saw your um, presentation when you talked about this. You had some other things where you can, gauge load speed or some widgets or mm. 
right where you can see those metrics or mm -hmm. yeah it's a there's a website called gt metrics it's just the letters g t and then m e t r i x dot com um you can use that and it'll break it down it gets kind of nerdy which um i like because like you said it breaks it down very granularly yeah. um so if you're not familiar with web terminology it might be a little um overwhelming but it'll tell you very specifically now one thing that's interesting um just because it, you and i and, and the audience some people are in, in the funnel world specifically with click funnels for some reason um gt gt metrics can't validate against click funnels has something to do with the server they use but i found another one that i've been using specific for funnel audits it's webpagetest.org um so you can use that one and and i'm gonna shamelessly plug myself here for a minute um <laughs> i'm actually building out a website specifically for funnel speed tests um it'll be funnelspeedtest.com so depending on when you listen to this it may or may not be live if it's not live just come back we're building it out right now that is amazing oh my gosh i'm so excited for you i'm, I'm typing this right now funnelspeedtest.com oh my gosh i is so exciting to hear i i can't wait to see and to see that and then for your success with that um, it's funny too, because I wanted to make sure I actually meant to start this way. And so we might as well get to it now, but, um, anybody listening or watching, cause I'll definitely throw this up on YouTube for fun. Um, mm -hmm. but should follow, should hit pause and go, go find you on LinkedIn and it's LinkedIn Damon Burton forward slash mm -hmm. Damon Burton, follow you on Facebook damon dot burton because you're so fun on facebook i'm not a big linkedin guy but i know and we'll get to this in a minute but you add so much value on face uh linkedin and that's how you effectively built a lot of your million mm -hmm. dollar business is mm -hmm. that's correct right mm -hmm. and then um uh you've got seo nation.com where uh people can see some stuff but i would definitely go to linkedin i would download the free book too quick you've got a free book do we still like this book outrank is this still worth talking still about like it i like <laughs> yes. it okay good <laughs> well you never know <laughs> you might have been like that's that's we've moved past that but yeah. i i just love the title so much so you again you're gonna hit pause you're gonna go get his free book which is at um i have the what where do they get the free book tell them tell them real quick free seo book.com free seo book.com and it the book is called outrank yeah, how to get consistent and unlimited traffic, turn off ads forever, and track SEO results without without waiting months to see progress. I freaking love that, man. I just I love the idea of like you said, so many people go straight to paid ads and and perhaps it's not efficient and they I don't know, if you're learning from it, great, but spending lots of money unnecessarily um and you you have built this business um here let me let me let me do the proper introduction so damon burton <laughs> <laughs> is a leading authority on seo and you built an inter an internationally successful search engine optimization company through the very strategies that you teach and that we're going to talk about um, you've optimized websites for inc 500 5000 companies nba teams uh, businesses featured on Shark Tank. Um, you've been featured in Forbes, Entrepreneur, BuzzFeed, USA Weekly, and an endless list of podcasts and SEO industry websites. But best of all, Damon, you help people stop paying for expensive ads that don't work, and you show people how to get traffic without ads, which I love, and everybody listening should love. That was part one. Stay tuned for parts two, three, four, and five. Thank you. Thank you for listening to this episode of the Table Rush Talk Show. For resources to help you sell your stuff, go to B-E-L-O-V-E dot media forward slash resources. That's B-Love dot media forward slash resources. And be sure to subscribe, comment, five-star, and share. Thank you again for listening.